Hey East Greenwich, I'm Mrs. Benedetto and welcome to East Greenwich Family Paint Night. So I'm here right now to tell you a little bit about what things you need to gather so that you can be ready for Family Paint Night and to kind of show you what we're doing. So um, I picked the big oak tree to represent East Greenwich Township. So I'm planning for you guys to paint a single oak tree on your picture that shares one horizon line and the trees blend into each other. So if you're gonna hang your family grouping together, they'll have like a connected quality to them. However, you could just paint your tree on its own, like some of the examples I have. Um, what I like about the examples that I have is that it shows you that you can choose any grouping of colors for your sky and even your leaves. So you can really make it your way and I hate to have everyone do the same picture and follow me exactly and they all look the same, right? So we need to be unique and creative and choose our own colors. So first thing, the supplies that you need. I'm going to grab them out for you. First you need a placemat, something to put your mess on, like a piece of newspaper. So this is a piece of plastic, I don't know where I got it from, and I use it all the time as you can see. You'll need some paper plates for your paint. Um, I'd say one for every person. You don't want to share your paint because, you know, if someone mixes it together for their combination. Next, you will need a piece of canvas. Um, any size canvas will do. Um, these small ones go really quickly, so if you wanted to get a smaller one um, and then hang them all together in your house, or a larger one is your choice. And then you're going to need some paints. Now, these are large bottles of paints but the little pint-sized bottles will be enough for your entire family. So it's a basic grouping of colors, um, red, yellow, blue, green, purple, orange, brown, black, white. You're definitely gonna need a lot of white though. So I would, even if it's a two ounce bottle, you're probably gonna need a whole bottle of the two ounce ones. Um, then for your brushes. So for your brushes, I've decided to go with this big house paint brush. I learned this from Bob Ross, doing a lot of Bob Ross tutorials. And you can get a lot done in a small amount of time. And it does all sorts of little techniques that I never would have dreamed of doing in my, you know, all my college painting classes. So the big house paint brush. Probably one for everybody in the family so you don't have to wash it and share. Um, although you could do that, but if you ever wash your brush, you have to dry it. We use no water when we're painting. All right, that, next we have these three brushes. This one is a fan brush, which not everyone has. So if you don't have one, you don't need to go get one. But if you have one, you might enjoy using this one. So I wanted to just mention that. But what you really need is just a plain old flat brush and a pointy brush. So gather your supplies and click back here on June 8th and you can paint with me live or I'm also posting the how-to instructions on YouTube. So if you want to at least get a sneak preview or even do it before the night of and share that night, um, you could certainly do that. So I think it's about to rain on my head. So it's time to end this video. Have a great day and I'll see you June 8th.